given what getting in front of it, then you might be overreacting. You know, you play it out. I think Price did throw, throw at Ortiz, but now there's a sort of measuring stick from that point. Okay, there was retaliation. I think Carp was unintentional, and then, you know, it snowballed from there. But the reality is they still played baseball. It was a great game. And for the Red Sox purposes, I think that's a wake-up call. When you were playing... In so you're always establishing this sort of game of inches. And the tug-of-war of baseball is about intimidation and space. and No statute of limitations in baseball. And so these are what happens, and this is the way the game is sort of gets that edge back and forth. That's, that's how you play and respond, and I think there's ways that you can handle it better at different times. But there's no doubt that people remember things from a long time ago. Uh, I, we didn't have a story. Right. Jump in there with the helmet. So I came in and ended up at the bottom of the pile with a stiff neck because Ozzy Dean tried to pull me up by my head. So we couldn't see. That was the problem. In the Red Sox clubhouse about how they're going to handle tonight. Oh, there'll be talk. It's a whisper, but there's not much that needs to be said. Guys know exactly what they need to do. I mean, Workman, Longoria. You get David Ortiz, the big guy, we go after your big guy, and that's sort of the tit for tat that works. So I don't think they have to say, lay out a map. They just have to nod their head. You know what it's got, though? It's got